This is the Pal Talk News Network. The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of PalTalk.com, AVM Software, or its advertisers. News Talk is online. News Talk Online, a production of PalTalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the Internet with more than 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube and on my blog, GaryBaumgarten.com, where you are encouraged to post your comments, whether you agree with yours truly or not, no retribution. And thanks to our great friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio, we're syndicated to an additional 12 million households. I am your host, Gary Baumgarten. I welcome you to the show. I don't know if you guys caught the Make It Pro show at uh, Make It Pro, uh, in the Make It Pro room here on Pal Talk uh, yesterday when we were uh, talking to a champion professional paintballer. The next Make It Pro show will be on January the 7th. And our guest that day will be a name that many of you will recognize, Michelle Granger. She is an Olympic uh, softball pitcher. And do you see how those gals do that in the Olympics? I mean, they wind it up, baby. I mean, they really uh, pitch those balls. They're not easy to hit, I'll tell you that. Anyways, it'll be great to have an Olympian here with us. Uh, That's at Make It Pro. You can register uh, to win cool prizes by going to makeitpro.com slash TV, M-A-K-E-I-T-P-R-O dot com slash TV and register. Free to register. You might find yourself uh, getting a free uh, premium nickname right here on PalTalk.com. On Friday, we're going to have a great guest for the first half of the show. Uh, Her name is Holly Steele. If you're outside of the United Kingdom, you probably have never heard her name, but uh, nobody in the U.K., can claim they don't know who Holly Steele is. Uh, She has captured the hearts of the people in Britain. She was a finalist on uh, on Britain's Got Talent. She has the most angelic voice you will ever hear. And she's only 11 years old. She was 10 when she did the competition. She's not only going to be here to talk to us along with her mom and her dad, but she's going to perform for us live right here on News Talk Online on the Pal Talk News Network. That's Friday at 5 o'clock New York time. Uh, so you don't want to miss that. We're going to have a lot of fun with that. Well, we've discussed a little bit, probably not quite enough, what's going on in Copenhagen, uh, where uh, there's a real rift between the haves and the have-nots when it comes to the countries involved in the climate control summit there. Uh, A couple days ago, the African nations walked out in mass. The problem here is uh, they're trying to squeeze the uh, developed nations that have the money to pay for the reductions in carbon emissions uh, in the uh, impoverished nations that don't have the money and can't afford to do it. But, you know... (laughs) There's not a lot of discretionary income to go around in the uh, developed world any longer with the economic situation such as it is. And so it looks like indoors there's not going to be a consensus. Meanwhile, the protesters uh, are out there and as 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 has happened so many times, whether it's through their own volition or because there are agent provocateurs out there, they manage to turn public opinion against themselves. And I'm going to show you a video. I'm going to show you the long version of the video, three minutes and 22 seconds worth. The short version of the video doesn't show the first part, which led up to the clash today between the cops and the protesters. The long version does. Now, this was posted by the protesters themselves, as a way of showing that those mean old cops in Copenhagen are brutal, hitting them with the sticks. But in the long version, uh, it shows what precipitated the cops hitting them. Uh, Boys, could you play the video, please? (laughs) 